This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Alright, so, welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 2, Watanagashi, everybody. So, we're off on our second stream. Last time, in our first stream, um, everything basically seems to just... Everything that happened in Chapter 1 doesn't really seem to be relevant to Chapter 2 at all. Like, things are happening with no acknowledgement of everything that happened in Chapter 1. All the characters are still alive. We're still doing weird gaming stuff. And yes, I apparently met quote-unquote Shion last time, even though I'm like 98% sure it's actually just Mion pretending. Because it seems very weird that Mion had a twin sister the whole time that we didn't learn about. This is either something where it's like, oh, well, this is either like an alternate timeline to the chapter one where she does have a twin. But if she always had a twin, it seems weird that we wouldn't hear about her in chapter one at all. Considering that we had the phone call of Uisi and he kind of went over a lot of Mion. I feel like that would be kind of crucial information. Bottom line, I'm not I don't believe Shion exists as a separate person, and I'm probably never going to believe this unless I see Mion and Shion on screen at the same time right next to each other. Otherwise it's <laughs> I don't know. It could be, it could not be. I don't really know. If this is a true redo, where's the best man Tomatake? Good question. Where is the buff photographer? We definitely need to figure that out. Hopefully we'll figure that out today. So we're loading end of end of chapter two of chapter two. If this was truly the end of chapter two, I would have been extremely disappointed because nothing creepy happened, no plot really advanced, and also I paid money for this, unlike chapter one. Well, I didn't. Someone gifted it to me. Money was paid for this. Anyways, let's continue. Yes! <laughs> it's true best girl, the teacher. Oh, are we doing cooking lesson? Oh, yeah, she's skyrocketing to best girl status. Is her name actually Chi, or is that just Japanese for teacher? We have a school that's actually teaching real life lessons like cooking. This seems pretty great. A lazy, yeah, wafted through the class in response. That's her name, it's two syllables. But there's only one... Is it Chai? I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> I scared my cat, or your cat. I apologize. <laughs> Half of the school day today was going to be home economics class. Her name is Chie. Okay, I'll try to remember that. The plan was for everybody to make curry rice. Uh, and give it to the forest rangers who let the building be rented out as a school. Oh, dang! This is awesome. Let's hope we uh, make the curry better than they did in Tales of Symphonia. If everybody were making curry in the same pot, it would have been more of a party-like atmosphere, but this was school, after all. Excluding the youngest students, each one of us would be making our own curry, with the results being judged. Uh-oh. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? <laughs> I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. I only just recently was made aware of that meme, and it is now one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Papa, Papa jo this stream is not sponsored by Papa John's, but that was my pizza of choice in college, because it was the only pizza we had on campus. It was pretty good, but I haven't craved it since. いいですか今でこそカレーライスは手軽で簡単で誰にでも作れるメニューということになっていますが、カレーは本来インドを発祥とする古式ゆかしいちゃんとしたお料理です。is curry considered an easy meal anybody can make? Because I have certainly never made it before. Alright. Okay, so she wants the curry to be like super spicy. Oh! Okay, well, uh, this, is, this teacher is not someone who you want to cross. That seemed like a needlessly passionate sermon on curry. Well, whatever. That wasn't really a sermon. Oh, wait, Satoko just pronounced her name Chia, like Chia Pet. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to listen to someone else say it. <laughs> She's devoted her life to curry. Okay. 
Well, Keiichi, you're the guy who can't cook worth crap, so... Your mom literally asked... <sighs> your mom asked you and your dad to go out to dinner instead of trying to cook on your own. Like... <laughs> Clearly that means you can't cook very well. <laughs> Or, oh, wait, no, never mind. They just didn't have food in the house. Okay, maybe Kate. No, when Keiichi was on his own in Chapter 1, he wasn't cooking for himself outside of ramen. Never mind. I was right the first time. A tyrant? What the heck? Oh, no, is Teacher going to become a weirdo? I liked Teacher because she was the only normal one. That seems weird. うん。秘伝のカレーを研究するために行っていって、毎年インドに旅行に行ってるって言ってたもんね。風の噂ですと、ご飯は3食カレーライスで、たまに他のものを食べるときでも必ずカレー味というこだわりぶりらしいですの。
We had to use an outdoor kit to cook the rice, but that wasn't that difficult for a camping veteran like me. We don't have a rice cooker? I'm screwed. Put the rice into the canister, push the, your palm to the bottom, and fill the water to just above the wrist. Uh, what type of rice are you using? If it's white rice, you don't need that much. If it's brown rice, you're gonna need like twice as much. You filthy liar. If I put in any more, I'll just be left with some half-cooked porridge. We just, we just told her how to cook rice on her own. If it's a competition, that's to our disadvantage. <laughs> I, I, something like that. <laughs> we, I went to a place called Camp Green Lake, and we had to learn to make rice there while digging holes. As it should be. We'll see about that. Oh, so Satoko and Rika are on a team. I guess that makes sense, since there's apparently still elementary school aged. <laughs> Yeah, Satoko seems like the type who can't cook for squat. We all... <laughs> We're gonna learn eventually on my channel that the ends justifies the means is not true. And by that I mean, like, probably two or three years from now. Actually, at this point, probably two years from now. That was pretty malicious comment for Rena. And Satoko took a hook, line, and sinker. Rena could only apologize between fits of laughter while Satoko chased her around. After rinsing off the carrots, potatoes, and other standard vegetables, I grasped the knife. <laughs> oh, stop being such a wuss! As Rena hummed along, her very well-practiced hands wielding her knife, the rhythmical sound of the knife hitting the cutting board harkened to kind images of days of all past. Simply put, it was perfect. It was so calm and practiced, I seriously don't stand a chance. I looked over at Satoko and Rika-chan. Satoko was in charge of washing the vegetables, while Rika-chan was in charge of peeling them. Why does he always refer to her as Rika-chan, but he doesn't add the honorifics to any of the other characters? Seems a little weird. That's what I heard being discussed, but Rika's knife skills were something else as well. She was happily rotating the potato and peeling it quite quickly. Oh, just with a knife, she don't even get the special potato peeler. Nice. On top of that, the peel spanned the entire potato. What was that called again? Katsumaraku? Uh, Katsuramuki. I've heard that peeling a vegetable in one loop around like that is a highly regarded technique. Oh, dang, she didn't even, like, have to dip, do it in multiple ribbons. Oh, that is skilled. Real hardcore. She picked up the peel from the sink and carved a pair of eyes into it with her knife. <laughs> That's not what a snake sounds like. <laughs> Saying that she placed uh, the lonely peeled potato skin on top of the head of a boy from her group. <laughs> she wasn't even breaking a sweat. Damn. All right then, Rika. When it comes to Rika and cooking, I can't even hold a candle to her. But roar? Do snakes make that sound? No. All right then, how's Mion doing? She's definitely just fumbling alone. There's no way she can peel a potato so effortlessly like that. Absolutely no way. Why is he so focused on looking at whatever people are doing instead of actually doing the job? Yeah. <laughs> What was that noise? As if she had already won, Mion proudly showed me the elongated potato skin. Oh no! Everyone knows Grandma's the best cook! I don't even know who her grandma is, but just as a rule of thumb, Grandma is the best cook. Nobody ever tells you about, like, oh, I learned the best cooking was always made by my aunt. It was, no, it's always, oh, the best cooking I ever had was my grandma's, like, homemade lasagna. <laughs> I don't know why it's always Italian, but, uh-oh. 
お花にお琴重機から無線機ヘリの操縦まで何でもできるんだからねレネサンスグランニーヘリコプターパイロティング OK I gotta meet her grandma at this point her grandma sounds badass strangely enough the latter items were more realistic it was the first two items on that list that seemed like a lie 本当はすっごくお料理上手なんだよ面倒くさがって全然作らないけどね It's not a hassle. You just need to plan and make time for it. Damn it! I'm also really good at cooking, especially Chinese food. Koichi, <laughs> oil or gas? Just to soak it up, is not in the cooking. Ooh, see, I told you. Like, for example, my nan makes amazing apple pie. It's fantastic. Love it. Shot down before I could even say it. Grandma, the OG tiger mom. <laughs> That's possible. We are in Japan. We'll see. It's 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 uh, she a pet teacher that I have to impress. Clank. There's stuff going on, Marika. <laughs> Behind that cute smile <laughs> belies a, a dark mind underneath. <laughs> ah, this does not look good. Everybody's smirking at me. Don't raise the white flag yet, Keiichi Maibara. Don't throw away this match. Calm down and think. Not about how to peel these potatoes well, but about how to win this challenge. <laughs> Saying only that, I gathered up all the vegetables and left that spot behind. Keiichi would be fine with that if he wins the challenge, anyways. No matter how hard I try peeling these, if I slip up at this speed, I'll lop my fingers right off. Then there's only one thing left to do. Lop my fingers off. <gasps> oh no. It was the two underclassmen that had become my sworn brothers ever since that event at the toy store last Sunday. Also, apparently. Yeah. Apparently, these two do not actually have uh, sprites outside of the console version. So the remake just uses their console sprites. Honestly, I couldn't tell. They'd been paired with two girls for the. Or, with two girls for their group. Oh, hi. Was it Satoko and Rika? <laughs> so they're just like, Ew, boys, stay away. Boys can't cook. And then Wolf came plucking and Gordon Ramsay beat them up. Both of them pointed at the girls. They're not as good as Rena, but they were both good enough at handling a knife. Uh-oh. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh no, is he gonna be a lech again? <laughs>。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
キバでしょああ、俺はとっくに本気だぞ。Oh, brother. てめえらまとめてぶっ潰してやるぜ。Cringe. <laughs> Having finished with preparing the vegetables, next is to boil a pot of water. Keiji, if you can't do this, it's like the easiest thing to do in cooking. Then we add the vegetables in order of which takes the longest to cook. I learned this part from when my mother, when we were camping. But just cooking in order, it probably won't garner a lot of points. No! It's like cooking 01, not even 101. 101 is too high of a class for boiling water, okay? It's like the very. It's, it's a prerequisite for the 101 class. Look over at Rena. She already had a large variety of vegetables cooking together in a delicate balance. She wasn't being ambitious or calculating a way to win the game, she was making delicious food with a lover's touch. I have a feeling that I could somehow compete with Mion in terms of technique, but I would be no match for Rena. I told you, Rena seems like she's the supreme chef. <laughs> the secret ingredient is hate! <laughs> She was way out of my league. Rena's mom seems like she's. she owns her own restaurant. I could see it. And her restaurant is Grandma's Living Room. That's apparently a, like, a real restaurant in the Georgia area, I believe. There's like a restaurant called Grandma's Living Room where it's like literally just a grandma's house. And she just like invites a couple people in and just whatever grandma happens to be making that afternoon, that's what you eat. And apparently there's like a line out the door at 8 a.m. or something. <laughs> Seems interesting. <laughs> Certainly a unique business model. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Ah, when she enters club mode, even the normally kind Rena becomes an enemy. No cheating. Well, he already did cheat, but looks like Rika John is cooking apples as well. Ooh, she's like a pro at this. Apples? For curry? Really? How about Mion? Oh, she wins. If the curry don't have meat in it, it's not going to be as good as the curry with meat in it. Mio just went to the field to slaughter the cow. Actually, wait a minute. If, if this is like an Indian dish, you probably wouldn't add beef to it. <laughs> It'll be fabulous! Upon a closer inspection, it looks like Mion brought her own vegetables and spices and other ingredients. They were spread all over the place! Uh, teacher's not gonna like that. Teacher wanted authentic ingredients that were provided. Mion, just for today, you brought all this stuff from your house! OBJECTION! Uh-oh! Man, can she be the judge in the next Ace Attorney game? Okay, then I, I'm going to the store. Ugh, for that normally serious teacher to go so far as to append a star to the end of her sentence. Just as the rumor said, she's a fru and fru curry freak. I don't like all the trash talking that's happening. It's hopeless. In the grand scheme of cooking, peeling the vegetables is only a small part of it. Yeah, no duh! This guy literally has never cooked a day in his life. The hurdles I must overcome are just too numerous and too high! Turning around, I saw the voices calling me belong to the two underclassmen from earlier, Tomitas Kun and Okamura Kun. <laughs> they're just stealing all of the stuff from their group because they're like, we want to eat the, the curry. The girls that are on their team are going to hate them forever for this. You guys, for me? Oh, that's right. If I don't win, then the talk of eating Satoko and Rika-chan's curry goes right out the window. Seems like you guys are getting riled up about this too. They didn't. They stole it. 
俺たちも本気ってことです。Filling in on day duty time,、uh, three times, these guys, to assure me victory, have paid the price. That gaze filled with burning conviction from my underclassmen. Yeah, I'm not fighting this alone. I'm fighting this with everyone! Teamwork! <laughs> my friends are my power! Don't yell! People will think it's weird. They'll realize we're up to something. It's a gas stove, so controlling the heat is easy. That's the nice thing about gas stoves. All that's left is to let it stew a bit. The delicious smell of curry began wafting upwards. The pot gifted to me by my two underclassmen certainly drew some double takes. Rena even looked surprised when she came to take a look, so it must be pretty good. Just don't ask me to ever make this again. Uh oh. This could be bad. What? Rika chan's calling me? What could it be? Well, whatever. While I'm at it, I can gather some intelligence on the enemy. Rika chan was doodling on the ground in front of the pot. Because all that's left is to let it stew. Even then, it's good to know that she doesn't leave the stove unattended. Yeah, that's also a bad thing to do. She just has her mouth open, like, Hi, I've been waiting for you. Oh, brother. Huh? Rika chan was doodling something strange and introduced it as Mr. Curry. Apparently, Mr. Curry shoots beams from his eyes. Drawing a beam with a stick, she etched a line towards my feet. Does this mean I've been shot with a laser? I took another stick in my hand and reflected the beam, striking Mr. Curry. Well, this is kind of weird. Why does she have, like, such a dull voice? Pishu. She's trying to distract us to our curry burns. Rika chan and I scratched at the ground, thoroughly engrossed in our doodle war. Wait a moment. I knew she was going to distract. Yeah, see? At that moment, a chill ran up my spine. Already fulfilled her purpose? Headed back to my pot, standing there just as I feared, was Satoko. With no questions asked, I drop kicked the back of her head. <laughs> Football punt! Hey, Sonic, how's it going? Yeah, if she's outright going that far, then she out. I've told you, Rika knows exactly how people perceive her and uses that to her advantage. Um, going back to the pot of curry, bruh. At that moment, a gentle breeze blew by, knocking over a ladle that was stood up by its end. The ladle, like a domino, fell over and knocked over the next cooking utensil in a row. I didn't even have time to react. The chain reaction knocked over a cutting board, then a frying pan. The next after that was... my pot. The fry pan stuck, struck my pot full force, tipping it over. The contents cruelly spilled out, and now my masterpiece was being sampled by the schoolyard. I stared, dumbfounded. It was such a beautiful and elaborate mousetrap that for a moment I lost touch with reality. Well, because you're stupid. Also,、uh, Satoko's disqualified now. But you also were too, because you both cheated. Yes, you did. 
At the very last moment, I had let my guard down. I ignored the culinarily incompetent Satoko for far too long. Even if she couldn't cook, Satoko still had this method of fighting back. Well, that's literally cheating, so... Just then, Rena, who had been sampling her own pot, let out a scream. Was Rena also sabotaged? Then what about Mion? Off with her head! Watch the curry Keiichi actually made being the best one. So when Rika said she was good at making curry, she just meant that she and Satoko were good at making other people's curry bad. <laughs> you two are evil. Rika and Satoko had rubbed my dumbfounded head to their heart's content. 